Okay, I think this is where we are. Yeah, yeah. The product, we need to talk about the company. Okay. Assets. Yeah. Guidelines and coaching and training, health and wellness goals, online and personal training sessions. Now, how would you go about developing that product for yourselves? Now, you've obviously had some training with me and you've seen how I break down my systems. Are you trying to do something very similar where it's like you can write out a program, you want to write a descriptor for the exercise, you want to have a video for it. Like, exactly. is, that, is that the full encompassing system you're looking for? Yes. Yeah. Because I mean, the thing is with people, and you don't know this just as well as, you know, life happens, and it's important that they have something to fall back on to, you know, equip them for the best chance for success. So I'm glad that you guys are still, you know, absorbing that stuff and going to apply it in your business strategy. That's awesome. Now, if you guys, the next, you know, point here is product patents, logos, models principles um have you guys looked at making a logo as of yet yeah we we, fin yeah. we finalized it actually nice. like last week nice and then um my friend's a digital illustrator perfect so he's gonna get it like done. so you have connections that help you with this or it doesn't come out of your pocket as exactly. much yeah Good. so one thing i would offer those people is a trade and services oh yeah definitely yeah, yeah. well like i've done like i, I practically saved this guy's life oh okay. so like like, but he's done some extremely things for like yeah. generous things for me too. Nice. So we have so you guys bond. are pretty close. Yeah, that's, that's just good. My closest friend, like he's nice. a digital, digital illustrator awesome. and an artist. So yeah, good he does that too. And he, I tell him the same thing that you just told me too, because he has a job and he's bilingual. He has a job at the bank. Yeah. And he doesn't have because he works night shifts. He doesn't have as much time that he can put into his own artistry, right. into his own craft. And he's really good at it. And he's really yeah. good at it. And it's it's just taking away from his time right. working his craft and right. bettering his craft because he has to spend eight hours of the day right. of the night there and right. he comes back and he's exhausted because right. he's working night shifts yeah. and then the weekends when he does have an event to run he's tired yeah. like he just does um, what do you call like um He'll do face paintings yeah. or face drawings for people, just wow. sketches sometimes. Yeah. But he'll do just live art where like he'll just he'll go Show to an up. event and then he'll just start painting. Right. And like just from scratch, yeah. right? And he gets there and he's exhausted. He doesn't yeah. have the, the energy to do things. Right. He's messing things up. Oh, okay. Because of the time that he put into right. the other job, like right. you said. So, yeah. Well, the problem with you know the job and the job mentality is a lot of times at a time when you're doing a job, it's not something that you actually really care to do. You're working for somebody else's dream, unfortunately, yes. and with that comes some bad connotations or bad emotions, and it's hard to kind of make that switch, to understand that there's something at the end of this road for you. That's why I said sometimes it's better to be all in, because then you can clear your mind and really focus on, this is my end goal, this is just for me, it's my dream, I'm not working for somebody else, I'm not trading my time for money, and I'm not you know, having some boss tell me that I need to bust my balls while he gets to sit and make a ton of money. And at some point he was the same guy as you, but now he doesn't really care and he doesn't treat his people as well as he should. Or right. the governing body of that company don't treat their people as well as they should. So you, you, I'm glad you brought, you brought up that example because that's exactly it. Right? So keep that in mind. Obviously you're starting to think more along that line, so that's good. Okay, so uh, pricing, you said package plans. Now what are you thinking about doing? You've seen my package plans. Are you kind of doing exactly. something very yeah. similar? Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. the then you can get people on for more long term. It's kind of hard when you're doing like, uh, you know, a session by session rate. Oh yeah. Because then people start looking at their budget a little bit more, and if you can't have that suggestive conversation with them, like, listen, if you buy this monthly thing, but you buy it for at least three months, I can give you a discount, and at that point, you'll get results. If it's just a session by session thing, it gets really difficult. So I'm glad. It's to show session by session results. Exactly, and it's just expensive. So you want to give people a discount for their loyalty, incentivize right. them. Because again, when you're doing this training business, it is a people business, but also a lot of the times these people have a problem being uh, accountable, uh, having enough confidence to execute. They really doubt themselves, and that's why they've hired you. So it's important that you don't make any more barriers, business barriers for them, and a lot of times it's money, hmm. right? And the amount of sessions attached to a money figure is a hard pill to swallow as opposed to you get one monthly fee this is how many sessions you get to it and if you get this rate you're going to be on for three months and in those three months i can guarantee you this this and this as opposed to well what do you want to start with because the conversation changes with the session by session mm -hmm. approach right. that's why it's always important to have uh both you can even have the session by session be like like i have it listed a drop-in session rate 
I would even use suggestive conversation where it's like a drop-in session rate is for somebody who's very proficient at the gym and just need to learn a few more things. Or you're traveling and maybe this molds into online training. Hmm. You could use conversation like that. Right. Or if he's really, uh, if he or she is really um, apprehensive towards making the investment, even though you went through all the protocol of consultation and assessment, um, you can still get them to try it a few sessions, but you want to get away from that conversation. So I'm glad that you guys are looking more towards those package plans. Long term, yeah, because yeah. we know it's a process, right. and that's what we're going to really stress to them. Like, yeah. this is not just something that you can pay somebody five, six times for, right. and you can go on the rest of your right. life knowing that you're good. For right. Them. This it's isn't like, a. This isn't a get fit quick scheme. It's like, do you just yeah. see a doctor once or twice, and right. then you just go? for yeah. the rest of your life and no. you just do it yourself right. no it's an no. ongoing gotta get the checkups yeah. you gotta make sure everything's functioning right yeah. everything's moving right and that's where we come in yeah okay yeah sweet